Hello. We are Jane Kamratene from uh, Norway and we will here present to you the video coverage of the Dutch Open 2016. And in the final we got uh, Sefa Poyu uh, and Pasi Koivu, uh, Juho Parvanen and Andre Betel. Sepo is uh, first, he's in the lead. Um, 17 under par. 17 under par. Yeah, after three uh, rounds. After three rounds. This is a uh, whole tree uh, in uh, the park in uh, Riesvik, uh, just outside uh, Amsterdam. There is Pasi's rip. Uh, it's too much to the right and fades out just maybe 15 to the basket. Here is Juho Parvainen representing Finland and Team Power Grip. It's working out the uh, Power Heiser, <laughs> probably with a Power Grip. Whoa, that's a huge escape on the thing down there. Yeah, what what is it? <laughs> Maybe it's like some... a training thing. Yeah. yeah. And here's Andre Betia, maybe the the black horse of this uh, final. Yeah. He was not expected to uh, or, I don't know, maybe he was, but... He played a weak first round, but we played well uh, in round two and three. Mm. So you played, played with him, didn't you? Yeah, I played with him in the uh, second round. Second round. He played mm. very well. That's good. Um, He's too short and left. He's one of the best uh, German guys. Yeah, you know? except maybe Simon. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah, Simon. He's better. Yeah. Uh, here's you with his birdie kind of I bid, so. but the trees in this way so he won't make it and here's Andre <laughs> can he even see the basket no I don't think so because the grains no no yeah. so I think he is going for for the par on this hole yeah just laying up for yeah. his putt yeah ah uh, you see oh. sometimes you just got to do that yeah, uh, especially, especially on this hole, you have the grain down uh, in the front of the basket. So yeah, yeah, they're really protecting yeah. your view. Here's Posse in about 12. He's outside the circle. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah. You have a small gap there. And he's going for the basket, oh. of course. Hits the basket. Too short. There's... Uh, you go for a uh, spar? Yeah. That's a nice spar. Mm -hmm. Nice comeback. Kind of on the weak side, but yeah. yeah. But, uh, the Omega sits in the basket. Yeah, great putter, huh? Yeah, mm. very great putter. And there's Seppo's drive. Great. Tap in, Bernie. Oh, yeah. There's Posse. Also tapping out his par. And then we are heading to hole number four, and Sebo with the only bird on hole three. Yeah. So this is hole is or this hole is quite famous for Dutch Open, isn't it? It is. And it's, it's the par five. Mm -hmm. And uh, no Mando on the three on the right side, like it have been before. But you have to pass it on the left if you're you have to. if yeah. you're planning to go yeah. land well. And Seppo is going for the roller. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it on the camera because of the flag there. But it was good. It was up there. Yeah. And Pasi is going for the roller too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And uh, it looks great. Hit the line, but hit the pole, the OB pole, I think. It rolled OB. <laughs> really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. He did actually hit the pole. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Small and the small one. Yeah, I was. I think I was standing right there in mm. the first position. Wow. There's Yuho. He's also going for a roller, but this is much higher. Yeah. Or was that a roller attempt? I'm not I, sure. I think so, but or. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some kind of <laughs> sky anything. Yeah. There's Andre going for uh, the air shot. Yeah. Um, this is good. You want to be you want to be up there yeah. to have a, a fair or an easy attempt to to burp this one. 
because the birdie on this par five hole isn't that hard. No, these guys they have to. The, yeah, this second shot is very important to get a nice lie yeah. for the next shot. Because the OB is really tight there. There's the path. Uh, which crosses, um, and you have to be like in the yeah, you in don't the square. have to be short on, on the second. Yeah, so. that's important. Yeah. And all the guys just laying up in the corner to approach for the bird, except from Pasi, who was OB. Yeah, yeah, going with A1 or something, I think. So, yeah, this one, OB stable approach. Yes, very short. One. Mm. Passing after the OB stroke, throwing his fourth. The basket is like protective of a bush there so it's really important to you can't just lay up and no. and have a putt inside the circle you have to be on the right of the basket as right where you hold lands now that's perfect yeah. we saw some putts <laughs> from inside the bush yeah and, and during you are like four meters from a basket and you can't see the basket mm -hmm. or you don't have any gaps so we're laying up perfectly there's Andre. He wasn't OB yeah. there. No, he yeah. wasn't. So you see how tight the OB line is. Mm -hmm. It's a touchy shot, and he's done it perfect. There, all the guys are just in about five to yeah. six meters, or inside five meters. But this should be a routine for all of these guys. Mm -hmm. With a, that was a bird, bird right? Yeah. Yep. So he starts the final where we're good. Yeah. Uh, two birdies in the row. You want two birdies there on those yeah. two first first holes. You do. And that's a great way to start the final with the lead. And it's making his lead yeah. even bigger. Yeah. When pass it yeah, for pass. He, his par there. Mm -hmm. And Andre and you should just tap, tap in, in their birds, birds as well. Yeah. And that's great. Moving on to hole number five. This is a shorter hole, part three. Yeah, it is, but it's very difficult. I don't have seen many twos there. No. I think. So I think uh, uh, Seppo is going for the roller. I think that's a very smart shot. Mm. Because you don't have want to fade disc. Yeah, you don't want to fade out no, left. No. There is really just a lot of trees and some ugly bushes. Yeah. So and you, and, and you don't have to. F and you don't want to get a flip, so you get a cut rolled. Yeah. Over to the left. So. Mm. And it's no problem just staying on. If the disc stays on the right up there, ooh, mm. that's yeah. trouble, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was. Blaming the grip lock. I did the same in my round. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you did. Yeah. Not good. Let's see if Andre can, or Andre. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Andre. Andre. Yeah, he's going for more. He's going air. Very wide. So. And that's it's far to the basket yeah, from there. It's very far. It's like. It's like fifty meters. Yeah, that's or or but something. at least yeah. thirty forty. So it's not just, it's not easy. Posse with a good throw. Nice. Oh, hi. A little bit of oh. so He's in the bush, bushes. Mm. Yeah. There's Yuho after his grip lock drive. Just have to get it up there. He will have a tough putt. Yeah, or <laughs> just another up shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's in big trouble there. Mm, yeah, because he 
but he find one gap there. <laughs> wow, that's a really great that, shot. That gap was really small. Mm. So that's a really tough shot. You know, and also Posse has some trouble yeah. here. He didn't look that terrible from the his tee or his, his tee off, his yeah, drive. Yeah. But uh, that's tough. He's but, a good uh, foreign yeah, thrower. He was a little bit wide on the drive and he got a little bit fade. So that's yeah. why he was in there. And this is where Seppo was and after his roll. This is for birdie. Yeah, but that's really that. That's not a good attempt, yeah. <laughs> or maybe had an it awkward was stance. It was longer than it looked like. It was like fifteen to twenty meters. Yeah. I think. So you had to yeah. push it real hard, and then you miss the line sometimes. Yeah. But he cleans out his par, and so does Posi. Or <laughs> it should be. Yeah. No problem. With his maniac, the P1 maniac, P1, yeah. yeah, and Andre with his P2 after a great yeah. up shot. New with, with his bogey, and then we are heading to hall number six, which is downwards. And we've seen some crazy spike hyzers here from videos before, and we didn't think it was possible to no, throw the highs when we tried yeah, the hole. I think it. Uh, but uh, Seppo disapproves bit. and bombs one out there. It's get really wide. It's in the bushes. Yeah, so it landed. Yeah, that was exactly. too far. I didn't catch it on the camera because it was. I was really surprised that he was going yeah. for the for yeah, the hyzer. You can see the grains are. Down there, so, uh, or yeah, the yeah. branches yeah, the they're branches. like really low, yeah. Yeah. so um, I didn't think it was doing we it. We saw it last, last year, I think, but I think that they have moved the T a little bit, yeah, to the right. Yeah. Yeah. And Andre with a great kind of anizer late flip yeah. thing, but he's still short, has some work to do with his putt. Yeah. And there's Posi, uh, and if you if you saw, he was. Thinking he was second, yeah. uh, and but now his turn with a forehand flake. Fortunate skip there. Mm -hmm. That's good. And also, you is going for the horizontal okay. line. It looks good. That's drive two. Were too wide. Yeah. He was in the, and you see yeah. here he landed all the way got down big, to the path here. Yeah, got paid trouble. Mm. And he, he used his time here. Um, a, few, a few meters from the OB water, <laughs> Yeah, actually. Yeah. He is really trying to find the best gap here. It's really smart using or your time when you... Find a gap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or make a gap. Yeah. Come on, yo. Oh. It's the tree, yeah. but it's he is out from the bushes there. So. Mm -hmm. Also, so Seppo looked at a... his options here, yeah. and then he decided to go for a forehand. I think he's laying up two from there. Yeah, yeah, that's not a run, but it's a good one. Yeah. Here is Posi in like he's outside the circle at least. Yeah, but it's a long path. Mm -hmm. And Maybe 14, yeah. 15 meters, <laughs> and with uh, some so. rare bikers <laughs> behind. <laughs> he didn't see them. <laughs> That's a big putt. Wow. It was a little bit windy too there. Mm. So. Oh, that's a great putt. Cool. A new hole. Putting for his three. Mm. Maybe just inside the circle. No. Think so. Yeah, okay, maybe just outside. Yeah. And also, wow, great putt. Yeah. See, there he's laying his Omega nose up and just floats in the chains. Real cool shot. And then you see the wind is picking up real hard yeah. for Andre. And he's having a putt outside his circle too. Wow, 
great putting by these guys. You see why they're in the leader, leading flight? Yeah. This is why. Great. And Seppo taps out his three yeah. before they walk to the famous along uh, the river or along the water yeah. Yeah. Uh, hole, hole number seven, which we have seen on video many times before. Because Andre is going for kind of a touchy hyzer thing yeah. with um, a slow disc at least, the mid-range maybe a uh, fairway I driver. Think maybe play with a FD2 or FD I think. Yeah, he's a Dismania sponsored yeah. player, so probably something like that. And Posse, he's holding on to that disc a, a bit, bit too much. Sure, he's not happy with that. Yeah. He doesn't talk a lot. No, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't curse and just ah. Yeah. No, he's a Finn. Yeah. Oh, Finds the gap there. Mm. Very. A little bit short. I thought we because we've never played this hole yeah. before, we never played this tournament. It was our first time down in uh, in uh, Netherlands. the Netherlands, yeah. and um, I thought this hole was really easy just watching yeah. the and look at this, right? Ooh. That's great, it's yeah. a cool run, yeah. but but the hole is much harder than yeah. I would expect. Uh, and we, yeah, on the practice rounds, we we had to pick up some discs from the from Water. the river, and you. Or river? It's not a river. No, it's uh, just uh, uh, water. Fuzzy is playing for his three. Mm -hmm. And that's and actually a good for him. Yeah, he's he's not a bad for him thrower, but now okay. he's playing for his birdie outside the circle. Mm -hmm. Not too aggressive there, he's really... Seppo landed almost exactly on the same spot. Yeah. And they're discussing if it's outside, outside the circle. Yeah. What do you do then? You just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Measure. Oh, I think it's nine. You think it's uh, nine? Nine goes, <laughs> ah. I think they agreed he could yeah. jump. Yeah. They... So he does, and just off the top. Oh, ah, he's lucky. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been wet. <laughs> yeah. Could. He's lucky, and here's Yuho with his comebacker after a cool yeah. drive. But yeah, <laughs> that's what you get when you're yeah. too aggressive. Yeah, you're in trouble, but. Behind the basket there. Oh, that finds a gap, but it's too low. So no birdies on this. Yeah, quite the easiest hole. Yeah, for, for these course. guys, this yeah. there should at least be yeah. one birdie yeah. among the four best, but uh, there's not. So maybe some nerves are picking up before the last. Four holes. Yeah. We'll see. We still got Seppo in uh, lead by uh, three strokes to Posse. And uh, we have some tough holes here to uh, decide who's the winner of Dutch Open. Or it's two it's two strokes. Yeah. But we'll see. No birdies as mentioned. And here, this hole is really tough. And I was expecting yeah. this to be really tough as yeah, well. It it's a par tree, like 125 meters or something. Yeah. Um, and you yeah, have to Mando. go... Yeah, Mando. mandatory. Which... He missed. <laughs> Andre misses. <laughs> that was a huge yeah. grip lock. And uh, he saw it just as he released it. Yeah. This was not good. Um, and it's really hard to get the float on the disc when you have yeah. to throw you that straight. Yeah. Uh, so only the biggest and most precise throws could go for birdie. It's going tight on the left side here, Posi. Oh, and it could be in some in trouble there. So in the bushes, I think he's not happy. Yeah, no. 
And then Seppo is preparing for a here trip. Let's see if he can get down the fairway. And he's too low, so he don't uh, get the floats on the disc. Mm. But still, you're happy if you're there. Yeah, you have. It's, it's yeah, you have a, like a easy three. Yeah, and a bird here is a bonus. Yeah. And <laughs> you too. Wow, and two of the best up. guys. Yeah. He's also blaming the grip lock, and that happens, yeah. of course. Oh. But <laughs> it's not fun when everyone is watching you. <laughs> so we have two players uh, who have to play from the drop zone, and that's not an easy shot from there. No, you see the basket yeah. just, and you see like the all the threes you have to miss. Actually, mm. <laughs> yeah. And, whoa, that's a, that's a good shot. Mm. It's like thing. Maybe inside a circle. Yeah, but it's like an eight or nine meters, yeah. I would guess. It's a, it has, uh, has some work left to do. Posse from the same uh, drop zone? You know, no, uh, Juho maybe. Yeah. All those Finnish names, they're all the same, huh? They're going two different routes from there. He's going for the highest line. With a bus, actually. And I executed it perfectly. That was great. And uh, Posi, he avoided the crazy trouble. He could have been like inside those bushes, yeah. but uh, he was lucky. Picking up his rhino, I think. Yeah, I think so. And um, finds a way to get out there. He's getting a Ooh. Wow, hits the basket, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, he's not happy with I <laughs> his miss. I think he should be because it can really skip on the path and yeah the and on and the go. basket and yeah i think actually it's the ob before the path there it's line yeah yeah so maybe when you see a sepal just going for a three mm -hmm. there's andre just inside the Putting circle for bogey bogey four too low Unfortunate. That's a five on Andre. So for taking his three. And uh, Posi as well, yeah. and then um, Yuho cleaning up his four with yeah. Andre with a double bogey five. Unfortunate. Then we're heading to another kind of famous hole yeah. or at least from what i've seen in videos uh, maybe the easiest one yeah, yeah but you, have, you want your birdie here you want your birdie here it's like 70 meters or something yeah. but it, and it's also down uh, towards yeah. the river or the water yeah. and you don't want your just to float too much here yeah no you can see all of them going where dif different uh, routes you have here you going with a fiber Bye guys. And um, Seppo is uh, throwing his A1. That's a much slower disc, but it's really overstable, isn't it? Yeah, really. Also going for the hyzer here. They're trying to like control how long they yeah. throw by yeah. throwing hyzers instead of directly on yeah. on the basket. And the OB on this hole is the water, mm. so it's not like. But if you if you like hit the path then you're yeah. probably OB yeah. because it skips. Yeah. So you want yeah. to land before the path. You was yeah. like like 10 centimeters from the path. So you would definitely go in the water. Mm -hmm. Andre is a bit too much to the left, but it's it's inside the circle yeah. and should be inside his comfort zone. We'll yeah, see. It should be. Yeah, it should be. If he's playing there, Hmm. You're trying to, and you see that's positive disc standing. Yeah, that's really close. Good putt by Andre for his body too. Then Seppo, kind of wobbly putt, but maybe that's his style. I don't know. Yeah. You can see here, it's like <laughs> they're discussing. one foot from the yeah. path. 
And you see many amateurs, they would like push their disc down and mark from where yeah. the disc, uh, if it was lying down, but you're, you're supposed to mark just yeah. at the nearest point yeah. of the disc, the way it's standing or lying. So it doesn't get anything extra. But it sings the pot for is his birdie two. <laughs> I don't know. Pazzi's <laughs> looking Checking if he got the CTP, but I don't think it's CTP. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, that's not. That's maybe correct, but no. he wouldn't gotten the CTP with that no, one. It was even it. closer. Yeah. Under one meter. It was like 55 <laughs> was centimeters. That too. <laughs> yeah. It and was, here you, yeah. Ola. Yeah, this is Ola, Bruin Stockholm. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Yeah, that was really cool. All birdies for these guys and Seppo. Star frame. Yeah, star frame. And Seppo is going, uh, keeping his two stroke lead before yeah. the two last holes. And here we had some waiting to do, so I was experimenting with my camera. Got yeah, kind of a cool shot of uh, Posse spinning his disc. Did you didn't get what he uh, had to throw? No, I didn't see that, but it was an Innova disc, at least. Let's see, this hole is part four. You want to um, go over the hill? Yeah, over the hill and over the path that is yeah. uh, going on that Where, hill. Yeah. And there's mandatory on the three to the left. Uh, you have to go past it on the right side of that tree. Yeah. And Posse is throwing a roller here. Yeah. And this sweet spot, where is that? Maybe over the hill, and it's like yeah, and it's several sweet yeah, spots. You yeah. can have one up where uh, Posse landed, and then yeah. you could highs into the basket, or you but can go just be past the uh, man three on the left side. Yeah, and then we have you can yeah. throw directly yeah. to the baskets, yeah. and here's uh, Seppo's roll, and this one looks oh, yeah. really good. That was, and you really capture good. it with the second camera yeah. footage. A look at this roller. Uh, I think we lost it there, but you can see if you follow on the path there. Yeah, and, and then it the appears. There, the whoa. That's a crazy roller. Yeah, that's and he's up so big. Actually, yeah, he's like putting for you. meters from the basket. That's great. Juho Parvainen also going for a roller yeah. and it looks good as well. Yeah, it's over the hill and that's the most, more, most important thing here is to pass the threes. Yeah, there. Then you can, so you can yeah. see the basket yeah. at least, that's really important. Because the approach is, uh, you, you can get there from several points yeah, as yeah, mentioned. And he's not going for a roller. No, that's an air so, shot. Air is shot. it long enough? No, it needs to... It's a branch, and so he will yeah. have a yeah. tough approach. Yeah, he can't see the basket from there, from his spot. Probably so. knows where it is, but yeah. <laughs> he practiced, played two, three rounds before, but it's tough. It's, if I'm not wrong, it's on the left side of that big three you can see over there. This one. I'm not sure. If I point on the screen, you won't see it, but... <laughs> But he will go on the left side of this close tree here yeah. and try to get there. That's a perfect shot. He's like five meters left from the basket. I think he threw a FD2 or something, I think. Yeah, maybe. It was fairly stable, so yeah. it could be through. Here's um, uh, Juho with his uh, Heiser approach. It looks really safe. Mm, yeah. was throwing a bus, I think. Yes. No, cool. He can throw in this team power grip, you know, he can yeah. throw like yeah. whatever he wants. Yeah. Okay. It's more like a shop or something. Yeah. Or I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I've it's seen like many there there are like many good Finnish players yeah. on the team. Yeah. I th I think they have like a shop there you know, like called uh, Frisbee Point. Yeah. They have like a team too and that's a shop, yeah. I think. We don't know, but Posse here is laying up and look at Seppo's okay. lie. This is on a that's par four. Yeah, for crazy. He's a putt for Eagle. Yeah. Uh, 
too wide. Oh, that would be would have been great yeah. if he would do that in the final. The audience would just go crazy. But he didn't. Burning. Ouch. Ah, uh, just off. That was too much to the right. It was strong yeah. side, but yeah. too low. And yeah. those chains aren't that big. Um, just Andre. if you compare to like the the disc catchers, yeah. these baskets were maybe a bit harder to put at. So Andre, he takes his birdie and the same will Pussy do. Mm -hmm. And of course Seppo will just tap in his birdie. birdie. Easy. We'll keep his two stroke lead into the last hole. And uh, Yu is taking his four par bogey. One, two, no, three, okay. four. Uh, yeah. Four, four. <laughs> Maybe it feels like a bogey. Yeah. yeah <laughs> These guys should have uh, have a birdie uh, on this hole. I think that's maybe one of the easy holes on the yeah. course. Especially uh, of the par fours. But and here. This is the Last, Last hole. hole, hole 17, uh, Pussy is going for a forehand. This is a really long hole. Like yeah, I think it's like 140. Yeah, um, but it's it's downwards, yeah. so you get you some extra meters. Like it's 120 or yeah. something. Yeah, 120 or maybe 110. Yeah. A throw that would go 110 yeah. flat yeah. would yeah. reach the basket here, kind of, I, I would guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's OB down on the left. Trees on the left, yeah. so passes should be safe, but he's in the bushes up there. And he's all beyond the path on the right side. Mm -hmm. Seppo is going for a air shot that flips. And this and looks turn. really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's a huge shot. Yeah, yeah he's inside like, the circle. Yeah, he's like seven meters or something. It's very close to the basket. Mm. So he will definitely put last. I think. Yeah. For his victory. Andre. He tries to, to do the same kind of. Yeah, but, but he's fade out. Like um, he, towards the OB yeah. there, but he's not as long. The OB is further down, no, so, so he's safe, but. Yeah. Oh. In his second round, he done exactly the same thing. He did? Yeah. And here, here is you in the <laughs> grip block. Trying to. <laughs> But How to get in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> this and is the way. Actually, he's like past all the. Oh, all the, he yeah. he passed all yeah, those yeah. bushes. Wow. He is, Lucky. So he can just take his par from there. Mm. I think. So, uh, unfortunately, there were not that many bogeys and so it, it was never like really really exciting this no. uh, final no, you wasn't. kind of knew who would win yeah uh, but they made some good shots uh, after the two first hole in New Land, yeah when Seppo takes two birdies and Paz takes two uh, par so yeah with an OB stroke there so get like three stroke has some really awkward stance here but finds a way to, to make it and he's taking his time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I had to cut a lot. Yeah. Uh, especially on, on Pasi. Yeah. He used like 45 seconds every stroke. Yeah, that's so not far from the truth. Tr yeah, and uh, it's very weird that they don't call him. Yeah. They can, can actually do it on every hole. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, the Finnish guys, they, they know him. Yeah so well so that he always does it and in the final i I'm, i don't know maybe they accept more yeah maybe i don't know but they could have called it on, on it so andre he's laying up yeah. for his par and you should just tap it in but <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's done with the final now yeah. he's, uh, <laughs> he done. it's <laughs> over <laughs> yeah let me just tap out uh, i'm done <laughs> and andre and which bag is that? The, his like, bag? Yeah. Yeah, we see, we saw him in the in the airport. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's like plastic, think, like yeah, green, I don't know, and it's uh, yeah, kind of tacky, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. 
<laughs> it's, yeah. so, it's his bag. Yeah, Nobody will. Yeah. Mix up. Here's Posse with uh, his three. And his second sh second place. Yeah. And, and Seppo should just take his birthday. Honor Lee lost putt. And he misses. No. Why did you do that, Seppo? So not happy. So then he just taking his par on the last hole. Yeah. That's enough to win. Yeah. And celebrates and waves to the audience. And thanks the guys for a fair fight. Although they were not close. Yeah. He leaded almost the entire tournament. Yeah. And he's, as you see, really happy with uh, the victory in this first Euro Tour of 2016. He played a great final, like final nine. Yeah, and three great rounds before that, so that was a, a victory he deserved. And uh, here you see it, Seppo minus 21 with a victory, Posse two throws behind on second place, and Yuho and Andre follows on minus 13 and 12. And here's the final results. Check it out on the PDGA. Yeah, and then we just have to say thank you for watching this video. And look out for more cool stuff from Jan Kamatne.